goddamn right. And you're gonna make a difference. This one comes with a basic sort of digital package. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? You got the power to change lives, right? Hello and welcome to the Barry J. McDonald podcast. If you're interested in creating your own digital product or just want to learn more, you're in the right place. Whether you're just starting out or have been working on your digital product for a while, we hope that our podcast will provide valuable insights and inspiration to help you on your journey. Take it away, Barry. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode. Now, at the moment, I'm reading uh, a really great book called Be Your Future Self by Dr. Benjamin Hardy. Now, what I like about this book is it's made me realise that how me and others never really give much consideration to the future version of ourselves. You know, we might have maybe great plans for what we'd like to achieve at the end of the year or 10 years from now or whatever. You know, we sometimes look off to that future version of ourselves. But we don't really consider what we're doing right now and how it's affecting that future version of us. You know, right now, after Christmas, I know when I switch on the TV, I see a lot of advertisements for companies who are trying to sell you a new car. They're trying to sell you new furniture. They're trying to sell you maybe some kitchen equipment. And all these companies give you this kind of lovely sales message saying that, you know, the first 12 months is free. You know, don't make any payments on to the second year or the third year. And it's very easy for us to kind of, you know not really think about the future version of ourselves and just say to ourselves, well, I want that car right now. I want that, you know, that suite of furniture right now. I want that kitchen right now. And we sign up for those payment plans and we're happy because we've got the things right now. And we kind of say to ourselves, well, that's that problem of how to pay all this. That's going to be the future version of me. They're going to be responsible for that. You know, the person in 12 months from now, they're going to be the person who's going to have to worry about making those payments. And, you know, we kind of push it on down the line. Again, you'll see a lot of governments doing that as well, too. You know, they borrow money. They tell everyone else not to borrow money and to watch their, their, watch their purse strings and not, you know, spend outside, spend any more money that they don't have. And yet governments just do that themselves. And what they do basically do as well, too, is they kind of kick that can down in the future that, you know, the next generation will, you know, bring in tax to pay for that. And it's always someone else who has to pay for that um, expense or, you know, those problems like the greenhouse gases or global warming or pollution in the sea. You know, it's the, the next generation is going to sort that problem out. So, as I said, from reading the book, it's made me realise, you know, how I have been stupidly you know expecting the future version of me to turn my life around or expecting the future version of me to make more money or to be healthier or to be happier or to have a better relationship and I've just kind of maybe been sitting on my butt a little bit at the moment maybe you're like that as well too so because of that book I've kind of you know come up with a new mantra that I have for this year some people sometimes have maybe a keyword that they use over the next 12 months and that's the kind of thing that inspires them to you know do whatever they need to do in the next 12 months but my kind of mantra at the moment is I'm kind of thinking well how can I make tomorrow's version of me be better than today's now I know you know every day I'm not going to be able to do that but I know over the next 365 days if I think of future me with the decisions I make today chances are good I'll probably make better decisions and chances are good the decisions I make will be a lot better for future me that hopefully I'll have maybe more content written maybe more podcasts made maybe creating more digital products maybe making more money right now so that the future me isn't as you know doesn't need to catch up doesn't need to you know to to pay all the bills that I might be making right now that future me has more money coming in or is has more knowledge or is fitter or whatever so that's my kind of little mantra you know as I head into this year is to make the version of me tomorrow be in a better position than where I am right now now the things I'm doing at the moment is I've started kind of up in my exercise routine spending more time on the treadmill spending more times you know out with the dog Again, I'm spending more time um, doing far more reading now, you know, doing far more learning. So not only am I kind of a little bit wiser tomorrow, but I'm a little bit fitter. 
and you know if i can make some money today well at least the version of me tomorrow will be a little bit wealthier and that's kind of my mantra oh that's what i'm thinking about this year is trying to make the version of me tomorrow be in a better position than where i am right now now sometimes i might notice it and maybe the small things i do every day mightn't be noticed but i know a year from now the future version of me will probably thank me because i'll be healthier i'll have more money I'll have more content created and, you know, hopefully I'll be in a happier and better place. So as I said, if you are looking for a good read this year, I would recommend grabbing a copy of that um, Be, I think it's Become Future You or Be Future You Now. But I know it's by Dr. Benjamin Hardy. I'm sure if you do a search for his details, you'll find the book. But it's a blue covered book anyway. But I highly recommend, you know, that you read it because, as I said, a lot of us kind of, you know, don't think about what is going to happen tomorrow. Don't think about what's going to happen next week. We have this almost this kind of, you know, you know, have the party now and worry about the bill next week. But, you know, when next week comes, it's going to be us that's paying the bill. So maybe it's better if we kind of, you know, put in the groundwork now, put in the extra work, put in the extra effort so that there isn't so much pressure on future us. So we're not met with this payment plan that we need to work out how we're going to get the money or whatever we need to do at the time so give that some thought today as i said it's kind of a new awakening for me and that's my kind of little mantra or my little motto this year is that every day when i make a decision whether that's eating something whether that's reading something whether that's watching something i'm thinking to myself is what i'm doing right now is it going to make me tomorrow a better version of me is it going to make me wealthier is it going to make me wiser is it going to put me in a better place and if it is going to do that, well then, those are the actions I should be taking. And I shouldn't be taking those actions that give me just pleasure after five minutes. And they don't really change my life. You know, watching TV, watching stupid box sets that aren't really going to add anything to my life. So give that some thought today. As always, have a lovely day and take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. If you're interested in learning more about how to create your own profitable digital course from scratch, we have a special report that we know you'll love. To pick up your copy of Piggyback Profits, how to make your first profitable course, go to rightcome.com now. We'll see you in the next episode.